This video will discuss the mesh refinement process in Visual Foundation, including how to refine the mesh at column piers and pile supports. Let's get started. The finite element method is approximate, and the accuracy of the solution depends on how fine the mesh is in the model. Generally, a finer mesh produces more accurate results. In Visual Foundation, the finite element mesh refers to the multiple plates that are used to model the slab and mesh refinement is the process of reanalyzing the model with successively finer and finer meshes and comparing the results between the different meshes. As the mesh is refined, the change in the solution becomes smaller and an asymptotic behavior of the solution starts to emerge as shown in the figure. Eventually, the changes to the solution will be small enough that engineering judgment can be used to determine that the model has converged. Note, model results such as displacement, moment, shear, etc., which are represented as phi in the graph, will converge at a different rate. Therefore, it is important to ensure that the model has converged for the result of interest for your particular case. To demonstrate mesh refinement in Visual Foundation, let's create a slab that is 7.5 feet square and 12 inches thick. We'll assume a double mat bar configuration with a top cover of 1.5 inches and a bottom cover of 3 inches. Let's use the specified design approach with number 4 bars at 12 inches on center in each direction for the top mat and number 6 bars at 9 inches on center in each direction for the bottom mat. Next, we'll place a 12 inch square pier at the center of the slab and apply a 47.25 kip dead load to the pier. Since we are only focused on the design of the slab, we'll disable the design checks for the pier. Now with the model set up, let's start refining the mesh and look at the convergence of the slab shear. Setting the mesh refinement method to user define, we will start out with 1250 mesh plates in the model. In the project status, we see that the slab shear fails with a unity value of 1.13 for shear. Next, let's change the plate element count to 2500. Again, we see that the slab shear fails, but the unity value has decreased to 1.09, changing the plate count to 5,000. We see that the slab shear now just fails, and the unity drops to 1.00. Changing the plate count to 7,500, the slab shear drops to 0 0.98, and this check now passes. Let's perform one more iteration by setting the element count to 10,000 to make sure that the model has converged. We see that the slab shear remains unchanged with a unity value of 0 0.98. Refining the mesh from 1,250 plates to 10,000 plates has caused the results to change significantly in this case by about 15%. Note, as the number of mesh plates increases, so does the computational demand. For conciseness, the analysis time was edited out of this video, but the table shows that the analysis time became significant as the number of plates increased, taking 90 seconds for the model with 10,000 plate elements. Note, increasing the element count and refining the mesh for the entire slab is not extremely efficient since a finer mesh is primarily needed in the region of the pier since this is where there are large changes in the stresses in the plates caused by the pier's load. In this model, shear controls at the distance d from the face of the pier. Therefore, it would be more effective to refine the mesh in this specific region than to refine the mesh uniformly throughout the entire model as we have been doing. A new feature has been added to Visual Foundation version 11, which allows the mesh to be refined in the region of column piers and pile supports. To demonstrate this, First, let's set the element count back to 1250 to obtain a coarser mesh. Next, we can select the pier and set the refinement parameter to true in the Project Manager Modify tab. Now we have the option to set the offset, which is the distance to refine the mesh from the model object, which is the pier in this case. We will want to use a large enough offset to ensure that the mesh is getting refined at D from the face of the pier. We can then set the element length at the start, which is at the pier, and the element length at the end, which is at the offset distance. Now in the model view, we can see that the mesh is refined in the region of the pier. In the project status, 
we see that the slab shear passes with a unity of 0.98, which is the value that the model converged to with the uniform mesh refinement. In the project settings, we see the number of plates in the model. Adding to the table we looked at previously, we see that this new feature has allowed us to obtain similar results to the uniform mesh refinement models with far fewer elements and a much shorter analysis time. In addition to the peer that we are looking at in this example, the mesh refinement feature works for peers of various shapes and sizes. Furthermore, this feature has also been added to pile supports so that the mesh can be refined in the regions that experience large stresses from these supports. The mesh refinement will accommodate the various standard parametric shapes as well as the various shapes that can be chosen from the database for pile supports. In just a few minutes, we have seen how to refine a mesh in Visual Foundation. Furthermore, we have seen how the mesh refinement feature for column peers and pile supports can be used to obtain more accurate models with fewer plate elements and therefore shorter analysis times. Thanks for watching and have a great day.